What's going on YouTube? If you clicked on this video, it's because you're trying to get the CCNA in under three months. As you can see, I got the certification right here. I know you guys can do this in under three months just like I did. I'll show you guys the tips and tricks on everything I did to get this thing in under three months. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get straight into the video. So as you can see, we're here at the CCNA website for the 200 to 301 CCNA exam. Um, so the reason why I put um, one or three months for this video is because everyone's going to be different. I personally took about three months compared to the other certifications. They just took about a month. Guys, the CCNA is a lot of stuff you got to know, like literally a lot. So I even had to take two tries on the test to do this on my second try. I finally passed the exam. But I'll literally show you, this is everything I did to pass this thing in under three months. So the first things first is all the books we did. And guys, the books are right here. The Introduction of Networks Companion Guide, Switching Routing and Wireless Essentials. And then what you're going to want to get is the CCNA Official Cert Guide, Volume 1 and 2. Um, back when I bought it, it came in a bundle. I don't know if they come in a bundle anymore, but I'll show you guys how the books look like in person. So this is the um, CCNA V7 Introduction to Networks. The companion guide. This is the uh, first one. This is gonna. This is the one you're gonna want to start with first. And then once you have that one read and everything, you're gonna want to go ahead and read CCNA switching routing and wireless essentials right here. This is the second one, guys. After you read those two books, now you're ready for the for the big boy, the cert guide. Um, so the CCNA volume one cert guide. This thing covers a lot of stuff, guys. Let me see how many pages it is. This is like 600 pages. Um, the good thing is. Just like those other CompTIA books, after the chapters, they come with questions and everything. Um, when I purchased the bundle uh, for this, it came with a link to the Cisco uh, training that came with like, um, it, it came with a link for like Cisco training that came with questions. Guys, if you need um, more sample questions than what all these books offer, that's what I recommend having a lot of sample questions to go into it. I just I would just go on YouTube and search for more sample questions. See the test, it was a lot of questions that involve routing, guys. So it's important that you guys look at uh, questions that involve that, that kind of stuff. Don't just look at this other extra stuff because most of the time it won't even be on the test. So um, make sure you guys do that. Look at specific questions. Look at, for example, look at my videos. Look at other YouTube YouTube videos of questions that have been seen on the test, like routing questions and everything like that. So guys, like how I do on all my videos, I give you about the timeline that you should be doing these things. Um, so like I said, normally on those other certs that I've said, you get this under a month. Cause I think it's very doable to get those other ones like the security plus and CYSA in under a month. The CCNA, like I said, it's literally Jesus Christ, literally four books. So I don't know about you, but four books takes a while to read. Um, the main thing is taking a set amount of time. If it's three, if it's three months is your goal, two months is your goal, one month is your goal. I would say set about. 40% of the time to read the material. So let's say if, if it's a month, do two weeks or not 40%, but like 50% of the time to read the material. So if it's like a month, you're trying to get this thing read, you know, I would say you probably have to read like 100, 150 pages a day if you're doing it a month. If you want to make it more, you know, if you have a job, kids, everything, maybe read for uh, 30 to 60 pages a day. Um, I recommend, you know, to get it done in the most efficient way possible, read about 60, 80 pages a day, each book. That way you can progress. This is this is not, not just reading. This is doing the questions after each chapter and everything like that. Once you set aside your time to read and everything, understood the material, look at more sample questions, test your knowledge. After you test your knowledge for uh, at least a week, I wouldn't say you need to test your knowledge for more than a week. Test your knowledge for a week, let's say like in the morning, an hour, at night, an hour. After you've done that, then you should be ready to go ahead and uh, reread the topics that you don't understand. This, the testing your knowledge helps because this will show you what you're doing poorly on what, what subjects you don't know. So testing your knowledge is very important, guys. So after you did that, go back, redo it, and look at what you didn't know. Now you will uh, better understand those subjects that you did not understand. So after you read everything, test your knowledge, reread everything that you didn't know, the next thing to do would be to go ahead and look at more sample questions, guys. More sample questions is what you need to do. Look at more YouTube videos about switching and routing because literally, like I said, it's, that's just the test, switching and routing. That's about it. Um, once you do that, guys, go ahead and you want to be watching like, I would say like an hour of videos a day at, at least, an hour of videos a day about switching and routing and the CCNA and sample questions. Once you do that, guys, you want to make sure um, you set a, a time to do packet tracers, guys. Packet tracers is super important. Luckily for me, um, my college offered it when I was doing this. So 
Packet Tracer is important. Try to go ahead and get you an account set up and do a lot of Packet Tracers because it's not just going to be, um, you know, oh, this is the, the answer to this question. You want to know, you know, why you're doing this. And if you get a CCNA, guys, and you end up getting a job, don't just let, you know, knowing the answer to the question be why you got that job. Know how to configure a router, configure a switch, look at logs, look at why this route is not working, stuff like that. You want to understand what you're doing. And the Cisco Packet Tracer is one of the best things to do that. So I recommend setting um, throughout, your, throughout your time reading and doing all these tests. I recommend setting at least like an hour a day to do like some labs and everything. And YouTube is a great source for that. Guys, we literally or in 2022, you could do YouTube for anything. I've literally learned so much stuff off of YouTube. So go ahead and search what you need to do, Packet Tracer Labs, tests, things like that off of YouTube. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people showing already uh, things like that. So Packet Tracer is a very important tool to use, guys, when going for this exam. So after this is, let's say this is a month two, um, getting ready to be month three, go ahead and set your time for the exam. Don't be nervous. You should have already got a lot of knowledge, guys. If you've been, you know, studying, reading, at least 60, 80 pages a day, doing questions after the chapters, um, looking at a lot of sample questions, doing packet tracers, rereading uh, subjects that you didn't understand at the beginning. You should be very, you should be feeling very confident. I know at first the test makes you nervous. I was per personally very nervous taking the test for the first time. Um, but if you fail, whatever, you're out of the money. Um, it's an investment in yourself. Like I said, I had to do it uh, twice. So, you know, it was tough to like not get it right the first time, but guys, either way, we're going to get this done in under three months. So if you look at those uh, steps I showed you guys or talked about, we should be good to go to get this thing in under three months. Like I said, guys, this was me under three months, got this certification. Everybody told me, nah, you got to study a year, two years, do this. No, guys, if you set a goal in your mind, you're going to go ahead and, and do it. So go ahead and get yourself this certification. If you guys like this video and the steps on how to get this thing in this amount of time, Go ahead and make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this in the future.